Greetings and welcome to the 40th episode of Retro Rant. For this episode we will be reviewing an absolutely classic game, Prince of Persia, but the version we will be looking at is the Amstrad CPC one, released by Broderbund in 1991. By the time this game came out, I had already moved on to the Amiga, so I didn't even know that it came out for the Amstrad CPC. What's more impressive, out of the famous 8-bit micros of the time, the Amstrad CPC is the only one that got a Prince of Persia official port, so us CPC enthusiasts can feel proud for this. Of course, this pride depends on whether this game is actually any good or not, so let the review begin. The setting is ancient Persia. In a storyline we have never ever ever seen before, the noble Sultan has gone off to war, so the evil Jafar has usurped power and has imprisoned the Sultan's daughter, presenting her with an ultimatum. She will either decide to marry him within the hour, or she will be killed. The hero, who is her lover, is also imprisoned and thrown in the dungeon of the palace to rot. He has to escape the dungeon, free the princess, kill the villain and save the kingdom. Maybe the princess could have accepted the wedding and prepared a Persian monkey with a wedding gown for the ceremony, thus giving us more time, but unfortunately she is not Elaine Marley, so we have to stick to the 60 minute deadline, which is quite steep, as you will soon find out when you play this game. Having played the excellent Amiga version, I was having very low expectations for the CPC port, especially regarding the animation. I was very pleasantly surprised though, since everything is here. The amazing graphics capabilities of the CPC are put to great use here and everything looks great and the atmosphere is spot on. The superb rotoscoped animation is very fluid, and it feels almost the same as the Amiga version, maybe there are only a few frames missing here and there. The presentation is here as well, with all the cutscenes left intact and looking absolutely fabulous in 8-bit glory. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about the sound. The poor AY is made to sound like something between a PC and a Spectrum 48K. The developers either didn't know that the AY could handle polyphony, or they just didn't care or couldn't make it in time, so my guess is that they just used the beloved PC speaker code for the CPC port, which is something of an insult for the CPC owners. The sound effects are likewise poor and annoying. The game just screams for a mod, somebody to mercifully replace the awful PC plink plonk and replace it with proper AY goodness. And the gameplay is simply fantastic. If you have never heard of Prince of Persia, it is a hugely successful, revolutionary platform game by Mr. Jordan Mechner that employed cutscenes and had an overall atmosphere that provided for a cinematic experience. The hero has to explore each level, fighting enemies with his sword, avoiding traps, jumping over pits, and using various switches to open the gates until he finds the exit to the next level. There are no lives, but each time you die you have to restart the level while the 60 minute timer keeps ticking ruthlessly, so you don't have time to mess about. 
you have an energy bar that can be replenished by drinking potions, while certain potions can even increase your maximum amount of health. These things can be hard to find and require careful exploration, which chips away at your precious time though, and this provides for a nice risk reward I mentioned in the game. Even though in the CPC port the hero handles a bit differently than the Amiga version, it takes only a few minutes to get used to and then everything is as natural and fluid as you remember it to be. I only had trouble picking things up since you have to stand exactly on top of the item to actually get it. Everything else plays the same and even the save game option is retained. The game is highly addictive, even though it can get frustrating in the later levels, especially since you have to start at the beginning every time you die, and you will die a lot. Through perseverance and intelligent use of the save game option though, you can make it through and save the day. Overall, Prince of Persia is one of the best games of all time on the Amstrad CPC that is highly recommended for all retro gamers out there. I will only knock the rating down for the abysmal sound, but apart from that you should track it down now, for the fate of the kingdom lies in your hands. So that's it for now, and I'll see you next time! Thank <laughs> you.